Oh my god, I mean, what do you say after that? It's just... Slightly less depressing than last week, but that doesn't really take very much, to be honest. Um, I mean, I thought certainly O'Shea coming back in, we did definitely look a lot more solid. We certainly looked like we actually knew what we were doing half the time, when Denier and Manquil weren't getting skinned every single time. Although, in fairness, I did think Manquil was okay. I thought Denier, one of my friends um, did make a point after the Spurs game about how poor Denier was. And I have to admit, after today... I have to admit, after today, I must agree with him because today, deny, I mean, especially in the first half, West Brom kept targeting our um, left hand side, obviously, they're attacking right hand side, and he kept getting skinned every time. The amount of space, I think it was in Matt Phillips, the amount of space that he kept on having time and time and time and time again to do whatever he wanted. You know, come on, guys, you're professional footballers, you should have been working on this all week. I mean, generally, the performance today. A draw was the best we deserved, I thought. I mean, personally, I thought we were a bit lucky to get a point because I didn't think... I think going forward, we, didn't, we only created one really good chance with Defoe, which he should have put away in the second or third minute. And then, you know... I was got to mean, what do you say at this point? I mean, and then, obviously, later on, we had probably a couple of half chances with McNair. And then, obviously, Van Anholt comes on and scores a probably fluky goal because the way it bounces off the turf and off his foot and then just bobbles into the back of the net pretty much or bounces its way in but a draw still doesn't really fill with me with much hope because a draw at home to West Bromwich Albion a team we should be beaten in my opinion it's just not it doesn't, it doesn't fill with a lot of optimism and the next two away games Stoke and West Ham who are down there with us you know I mean I don't think either of them will be in a relegation battle at the end of the season but I certainly think that they're two crucial games already and it's quite sad that we're already saying it about this you know I mean, I would have been, I'm still pretty furious with that. I mean, I still would have been even more so had we lost the game, but going forward, that doesn't really fill me with a lot of confidence. It's still pretty poor. Do I think we'll stay up? Yeah, I think we will. I still, you know, people can slate me for it all they want. I still insist and still refuse to believe that there are not three worse teams than us. There are three worse teams than us. If we can get through and stay up this season and stick with David Moyes, then it's something. But at this point, maybe Burton Albion might be a nice away game next season. I don't know. Look guys, like, comment and subscribe if you wish to, but this, I mean, the only thing I can say that's different from what I've said most weeks is that we haven't actually got beat for a, for a change at long last. We are actually bothered to get a result from the match, but we still didn't show very much. You know, and, you know, I mean, there's just something about the place, it just lacked energy completely. You know, I mean, if that, that can't be just Moyes. You know, and if, the, and, if, and if the players aren't playing for Moyes, then a lot of you need to book your ideas up and start playing properly. Because the 40 or 45 or 1,000 fans around you should be enough motivation for you to do something. Like I said, guys, just leave comments below and like and subscribe if you wish to, as I've said before. But tell me what you think. Did you think we deserved a point? Do you think we'll go down? I don't think we will go down. But there you go. That's just my opinion. Anyway, see you guys later. Ta.